a while ago I did a site for somebody where they had a wordpress.com site and they had this banner which didn't quite fit in the space right here and the banner actually was a little more tilted so it was kind of more diagonal than it was and I wanted to make it so this baseball actually overlapped the main content uh, just kind of seamlessly fit over the top of it and here's how you do that um, in order to overlap two elements in CSS you have to add a position tag and then apply a Z index so if I look here at the CSS on this uh, and this is just a as I said a wordpress.com account so you just basically can add CSS to something to the theme style sheet which remains hidden but here in this in this element here I added position relative and then the Z index and I just gave it 10 uh, in a in a different element I added position relative Z index 5 and basically uh, the Z index that's 10 is is this component here that's overlapping the other Z index that's 5 now you can't just put Z index on any CSS element the element has to also have that position either relative or absolute so it has to have some kind of position uh, style there at any rate that's how you do it uh, it takes some wrangling but um, it, it's it's possible to do now another thing about this that really gave me grief was that I, I initially had this image um, as uh, well, well it was a transparent gif and I went through carefully in Photoshop and I, I selected it all very carefully around this area and then just kind of circled it oops um, but when I laid it over the top there was a little white border that went down here so apparently and now I'm not a Photoshop guru maybe this is design 101 but if you if you select something roundish um, and then you try to overlay it on top of another element uh, it's not seamless there's gonna be like a little bit of a little bit of space or something there so uh, now if it's completely square what you're selecting then that that line doesn't appear so what I actually did, uh, if I right click this and view the background image, you'll see that I went and I took a picture of this image as it was overlaid on top of the background and then I just did a square selection. Now, I don't know if that's really the best way to do it, but it turned out pretty well. So uh, that's how you can make one element overlap the other. You know, you can do the position and then the Z index stuff. And then if you have a transparency with the overlapping image, you can actually just take a new picture or a new screenshot uh, and then upload the new one with the background and do a little cropping if you need to, as long as you crop in rectangular segments. All right, this is Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing.com. And I've got more tutorials about WordPress on my site. I'd rather be writing.com. Thanks.